Let's talk New York Mets baseball and let's talk about what's going on with Brett Beatty and Mark Vientos. Okay, as we know, Brett Beatty has just been optioned back down to AAA Syracuse. He had been struggling. He was committing a lot of errors, missing pop flies, had a lot of a lot of things going on. He was struggling in the uh, batter's box and uh, it kind of looked like his confidence was waning and he was just kind of losing, just just losing it all or whatnot. So for his betterment, at least that's what the organization says. And Buck says they sent him back down to AAA Syracuse so he can get a little bit more work, get his confidence back up. And in that meantime, while he's down there, it appears that Mark Vientos is going to be taking over that third base slot, that spot while Brett Beatty is back down there figuring things out. Now, this once was a Disney fantasy story just maybe a couple of months ago. The baby Mets, they were, you know, in pictures, you know, every other game or whatnot together. They, you know, earned their little nickname because they kept coming through and making really big heads up plays for the team and uh, getting wins or whatnot. But now it appears that these two guys of the three of the baby Mets, I guess you could say, uh, if you include Alvarez, but these two guys, the uh, the fairy tale story is over. They are going to be competing with each other as of right now for that third base slot. Uh, it appears that Showalter wants to see Beatty go down and get his bat working a little bit more and wants to see him get comfortable defensively. If you remember before they even pulled him up, they wanted to see him get uh, more comfortable defensively. And I guess they were right. They knew what they were looking at because he came up there and he did actually struggle. I would say more so on the defensive side than he did uh, with his bat. But nonetheless, he struggled both ways. Uh, so with him back down there in Syracuse, Vientos is going to have pretty much a wide open lane to play all the way through August, at least for the time being at that third base slot. And depending on how he does, that could secure him that slot or maybe move him into a platoon position to where he might start switching that um, switching in and out. And that could be with Beatty. Beatty still has a chance. He still has the ability to come back and make the team and become the starter next year. And I think that we'll see him later on this year, as I said before in pre previous videos. But as of right now, he's going to be in Syracuse. But depending on what Vientos does and what Beatty does, it, it, it it's dependent on what both of them do. If Beatty kind of just falls to the wayside and starts to struggle and have a hard time and continues having a hard time in AAA and Vientos kind of steps it up and gets his bat working. You saw he had a single yesterday. If he stays on par defensively, he's not committing a bunch of errors. He's making heads up plays and he starts to gain traction and momentum. He could move into that number one slot over there at third base and be the guy going forward. It's also uh, being reported that he might have the ability to move into an everyday DH slot. So, what does that say they're thinking about uh, old Vogel back over there? We already know how I feel about him. We'll see how that goes. But as of right now, the fairytale story is over between these two guys. I'm not saying that they're at odds. I'm not saying that there is some type of uh, animosity or hatred between the two of them. I'm just saying that the their roles are a little bit more competitive now. They're kind of going to be jockeying for the same slot because it appears that they are going to be uh, working Vientos and he's going to be getting a lot of reps there at third base and uh, depending on how he does he may be able to secure his slot so you know best of luck to both of them um, you know I hate to see Beatty getting sent back down I hate to see Vientos uh, get sent back down or whatnot I think they're both great guys and uh, I'd like to see both of them be able to contribute to the team in any way possible that they can whether that's you know, like I said, a platoon uh, gig where both of them are switching in and out or whatnot. You know, Beatty hits left-handed, Vientos is a right-hander. So depending on who they have on the mound, they could swap those guys in and out. Uh, Vientos also can keep sliding in that DH position and uh, or DH slot, excuse me, and uh, make waves there. So whatever happens remains to be seen. Now it's all going to, you know, uh, just be dependent upon how they play. So we'll just have to sit back and watch how things unfold. Like I said, I think we'll see Beatty later on in the season and um, we'll see what happens. Let's go Mets.